use guided hot oxios for the treatment of traumatic pancreatic pseudocystin pediatric patient. The authors declare that there is no conflict of interest. This case report is about a 12-year-old boy who suffered blunt abdominal trauma while riding a bicycle four months ago. He developed an episode of severe acute pancreatitis, due to a complete fracture of the pancreas, being hospitalized for 39 days. 20 days after discharged, he evolved with a giant pancreatic pseudocyst and presented symptoms such as asthenia, abdominal pain and postprandial packing. The computerized tomography revealed a 8.5 cm of debris collection with fluid content and pancreatic body, which results in stomach compression and the symptoms previously described. As the collection didn't regress, endoscopic ultrasound drainage was indicated. By endoscopic view it could be observed a bulging of the posterior stomach wall with body and antrum involvement. The hot oxios system was inserted. The best puncture spot was chosen. The stent was inserted inside the cystic collection helped by an electric scalpel. Step 2, the device was prepared. The distal flange was released. Step 3, distal flange was positioned next to the cystic wall. Step 4, proximal flange was released. After moving the endoscope to the right, the system was removed. An immediate exit of a clear fluid without solid components could be seen. The internal orifice was dilated with a 15 mm balloon. A 7 French plastic pigtail was inserted to keep the stent open and avoid bleeding after the procedure. Fifty five days later, the patient was asymptomatic. A computerized tomography was performed and revealed good positioning of the hot oxios and the pigtail. The pseudocyst collection could no longer be seen. 63 days later, the stent was removed. Magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography imaging revealed a dilation of the main pancreatic duct and disconnection between the tail and the body. 120 days later, the patient was asymptomatic without recurrence.